Scott, thank you. Developing news this morning. Southwest Airlines already canceling more than 2000 flights today. That's according to Flight Aware with more cancellations expected. So now lawmakers in Washington are already planning action against Southwest. Jared Hill has the company's latest response, including how soon the airline could be back to normal. Post Christmas chaos at the nation's airports after Southwest Airlines canceled more than 60% of its flights for the second day in a row, stranding thousands of frustrated flyers. It's just unacceptable. Everybody knows that during the holidays there's going to be some delays, but just outright cancellations is just not okay. With more cancellations today, some travelers looked for other ways to reach their destinations. We tried to get a train and the train was booked and then we tried to get a Greyhound bus and that was booked. Uh, so we've got a rental car. In a statement, Southwest offered, quote, heartfelt apologies and said we were fully staffed and prepared for the approaching holiday weekend when the severe weather swept across the continent. Our plan for the next few days is to fly a reduced schedule and reposition our people and planes and we're making headway and we're optimistic to be back on track before next week. Southwest Airlines CEO Bob Jordan issued that video statement saying the company is processing refunds. He also said he's been in touch with the Transportation Secretary, Pete Buttigieg. The secretary told CBS News the situation is unacceptable. Well, I want passengers to know that this department has their back, that we are going to be holding the airline accountable for the way that they are treating passengers. The Senate Commerce Committee says it will probe the causes of the disruption and the impact on consumers. Jared Hill. CBS News, New York. Here at home in Arkansas, some people were so desperate they decided mm. to take matters into their own hands to get back home. Now, according to data from FlightAware, by the time we got off the air yesterday morning at 7, Southwest Airlines had already canceled more than 60% of its schedule. Now, one local traveler told us he rented a car to get home after several cancellations. We rented a car and just drove home from Dallas um, back to Little Rock. Um, my fiance got her bags a couple days later. Um, my bag is still currently in Houston. I don't, I don't know how it ended up in Houston, but it's in Houston and um, they don't anticipate that it'll be here before the week is over. Houston, we have a problem. Rental car companies at Clinton National Airport tell us they've seen a massive increase in one-way car rentals during those flight cancellations.